The Mueller probe is over, but if Lindsey Graham has his way, the investigations into the 2016 election are just getting started. The Senate Judiciary Committee chair told reporters he plans to look into some potentially shady behavior by the people's pantsuit herself, Hillary Clinton. Lindsey? When it comes to the FISA warrant, the Clinton campaign, the counterintelligence investigation, it's pretty much been swept on the rug, except by a few Republicans in the House. Those days are over. Oh, Lindsey, love when you talk tough. He's also promised to look into reports that Hillary's campaign may have colluded with a Ukrainian law enforcement arm to leak Paul Manafort's financial records during the summer of 2016. Is there anything to that story and what could be done about it? Joining me now, former president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili. Uh, welcome back to the show, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you All right, very much. So, you know, wh what happened in the 2016 election that uh, both potential leaders of the free world went to Eastern Europe, to Ukraine and Russia to get dirt on their opponents? Well, first of all, let me say how happy all of us are that the whole nightmare with this investigation is over because it really has been undermining the, the United States reputation all around the world, including the region from which I come. Mm -hmm. And second, you know, I, I've been hearing today on media, well, Vladimir Putin is rejoicing in his happy mirror investigation exonerated the president. Well, it's exactly the opposite. Yeah, it doesn't exonerate mm -hmm. Vladimir Putin, though, does no, it? Yeah, absolutely. And look, I know Vladimir Putin. I met the guy more than 30 times. He attacked my country. I fought with him. I know him. Mm -hmm. This is a KGB officer. Can you imagine if Mueller had said that that KGB officer had recruited the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what kind of coup it would have been for Vladimir Putin? Mm -hmm. He is the unhappiest man today. Russian media might project otherwise. It's a trick. Mm -hmm. They are unhappy. They are unhappy with conclusions. They wanted to really uh, project this influence all over the world. Mm -hmm. they look how tough we are. We are even controlling the United States yeah. president. Well, I knew all the way through it was couldn't be further from the truth. I, I know very well uh, Donald Trump since mm -hmm. many years. Uh, I know Putin. I know exactly that the collusion was absolute BS from the very beginning, yeah. and I've been saying it all the way through. And the president has been very forceful about that, and, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton has placed a lot of blame on Donald Trump. But, you know, for those of us who have looked at the Clinton Foundation and how it operated, it really did seem like it was a pay-for-play organization. And when she was Secretary of State, uh, she was taking some very unusual donations, and one of the largest donors turned out to be the president of Ukraine. Well, uh, there were sh shady characters, mm -hmm. maybe everywhere, all around the place, and on b in both camps. So I fully agree with my old friend Lindsey Graham that, mm -hmm. if, for the sake of fairness, everybody should. So you uh, think there should be an investigation into Hillary Clinton's time well, as Secretary of State? and when she was running for president because she was taking money from foreign governments uh, for favors and they were also helping her come up with dirt on some of Donald Trump's cronies. Do I don't think that? I should be commenting on that. However, mm -hmm. look, what, we, what my personal experience, uh, in 2012, we had elections in Georgia. Russia was heavily involved. Mm -hmm. Pro-Russian oligarch, the biggest private shareholder of Gazprom, Mr. Imanishvili, mm -hmm. was running campaign against me. Now, what hap what's happening at that time? At that moment, uh, Secretary Clinton was in, in her office, mm -hmm. um, and there were three per personalities. This was Mr. Kornblum, mm -hmm. Mr. Blumenthal, and Craig Smith. Yes. What these guys were doing, these were, these were the three guys that were getting money paid by Ivanishvili with Russian money, because the only money he had mm -hmm. was actually the Russian money. And then they were contacting what we know from... Um, from the information connected, related to emails and now you know, openly accessible. They were telling, first of all, they were giving their recommendation to the secretary herself through private channels mm -hmm. what to say at the press conference when she was visiting friendly allied country, mm -hmm. totally pro-American, depending, like, very close to the United States. And they were also contacting the people in her surrounding, mm -hmm. saying that, you know, what, uh, arranging meetings, etc. Now, these guys were not registered lobbying. Now, in Eastern Europe, I was fighting with corruption all my career. Mm -hmm. In Eastern Europe, in many places, corruption is normal. But when we were looking at these unregistered lobbyists, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying this about Secretary Clinton. No, but there were, there were Hillary's cronies who were working Look, with uh, your opponent. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say anything about Secretary herself. I, but, I would. Uh, the, but the people around. She must have known. The though. people around. I mean, how would you not know? 
People do you really own. think that she would hire people and have them in her orbit who were doing untoward things without no, her knowledge, the, the, uh, putting her reputation at risk? No, they were consolidating power so she could run for president four years later. Yeah, what happened actually at that moment was, the, it was like I, we were screaming to the world and to our allies in Washington. Russia is heavily intruding our election, you know, to our elections. They are doing disinformation campaigns. They are doing provocations. They are putting military uh, pressure on us. Please, please, uh, save our democracy. And you know what they were telling us? Mm. Well, this is your paranoia. That's, you know, don't... And, and that's exactly well, what Barack Obama said during one of the presidential debates against Mitt Romney. Even though he was repeatedly warned, Russia did the same thing in the U.S. elections. Do you think they'll try and do it again in 2020? They did exactly the same thing in our elections. Yeah. And then what, what happened... Well they, well, they screw around with U.S. And I'll tell you what these pro-Russian uh, pro -Russian oligarch hired guys were telling, mm -hmm. uh, Madam Secretary and the administration. Mm -hmm. Well, if Saakashvili party wins, that's my party, mm -hmm. Russia will be unhappy. And that would complicate our relation with Russia even more. Uh, head of intelligence, Clapper, said it to the Congress. So it's like we are talking about, you know, co collusion here and there. When I saw the same people making so much fuss about non-existent collusion of money. Donald Trump. Yeah. And then they were doing, first of all, they were turning blind eye mm -hmm. on mass intrusion into our elections. Mm -hmm. And then they were basically, some of them were openly working with Russian money, with Russian <laughs> participation. Mm -hmm. You know, into doing it through unofficial channels, which is forbidden under any legislation, and the same in Ukraine. Yeah. In Ukraine well, I, I hope the new crop of American politicians have learned their lesson. Look, to, the Ukraine, to Ukraine, stay out of stay out of foreign swamps because it doesn't do look, anyone. They were also any Bonafort was in the SSS, but Ukrainian thing. There was pro-Russian body. Yes. There's a pro-Russian oligarch, and I was there in Ukraine. I was advising Ukrainian president. I know that he directed to pass some documents yes. to the other campaign against Donald Trump, mm -hmm. and that happened on my... I, I was... Well, you know what? He, she was so unlikable, even that didn't help. Uh, well, that's, that's the other Dr. issue, Shiri. but if you look from our standpoint... Yes. And the last thing, yes. you know, from the very beginning... Because we have to go, so yes, this has I know. to be the last thing. I was at one of our, your competitor networks, and mm -hmm. from the very beginning, when this whole, they interviewed me, and then one of the main, very experienced anchors, mm -hmm. he took me out for, like, a cup of coffee, and he said, so I'm investigating in Donald Trump collusion. What do you think? I said, <laughs> I said look, this is not true. I know yeah. the man... I know the Putin. I worked with both of them. This is not. You know, I don't trust. You know what he told. Putin. You know what he told me. You right. know, I believe the same. And still, they and proceeded still going for it. from the very beginnings. Many of them knew that it was it and was set up. We're not done talking. We're going to have it's much sad. more of it during the rest of the show. Mikhail Saakashvili. Thank, thank you, you so very much, Mr. Me. President. Thank you for your time.